name is Amanda. Welcome to my channel. This is my January MDs. Now, this year what I'm going to be doing is not only am I going to be putting in the description box the total amount that I have used up as far as value, but since I'm keeping track also of the $3,000 goal this year, I will let you guys know what I have left. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get right into the empties. The first one I have is the big guy of the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. Love this stuff. Will always purchase this stuff. Love this stuff. And the next thing I have is the Alverde Hand Cream. I love this. This did not leave my hand my hands feeling greasy at all or anything. So thank you, Yana. The next two I have is my favorite of the month, and this is the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Repl Replenishing Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. These two are little foil samples, and I love this stuff. You guys know I condition cleanse my hair, and this shampoo is the best shampoo I've ever used. It does exactly what I needed to do, however, it is $54. You're nuts if I want to spend $54 or 50 anything for shampoo. I'll stick to my condition cleansing. Thank you. Thank you. Next, I have this right here. This is the Alginus Eye Cream. I had to think for a second because it's all worn off. I loved this eye cream. You only need a little tiny bit. Just a little tiny bit. This lasts me a, a few months, I believe. So... This is pretty good. I liked this. Next is the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. It was alright. It was moisturizing though. This is the Rodile Glam Talks Day with SPF 15. I used this and this was nice. Next is the Rodile Glam Balm Lip. This also has an SPF 15. Basically, if you guys see Rodile stuff, my friend Landy sent me a huge box of Rodile stuff a long time ago. So, yeah, I believe... I only have maybe one item left or maybe this was it I don't I don't remember but I did end up purchasing an eye cream last year because of this I love this line next I have got the Butter London Oh My How High Mascara so glad that I got a chance to use this but I'm sad that this is gone this replaced my benefit their real as my holy grail I would buy this definitely and it's also cheaper However, I have a lot of mascaras to get through, so maybe I'm going to find something better and even cheaper. So, I guess we'll find out later. Next are Rollerballs, and this is the Tory Burch Jolie Floor Blue. I love this stuff. Tory Burch is one of my favorite lines. It seems like no matter what I try of Tory Burch, I love it. This is the Ralph Lauren Tender Romance Rollerball. I love this and I miss it already. Next is a little perfume sample and this stinks. This is the Odele, I think is how you pronounce it, Cologne and Mandarin Glacial. Did not like this at all. Not even a little tiny bit and this little tiny sample is expensive. No. Next I have the Sally Hansen Insta Dry. I love this and the last couple bottles I've actually been able to get more than normal because about about a third of the way in or uh, left I've got it just it gets really goopy and gross so I end up just tossing it but lately I've been able to get just a, actually the majority of it so I'm pretty happy about that. Next is the Butter London La Moss or LA Moss nail polish. I don't think that I would purchase Butter London. Uh, because I just, it took a few coats for it to be opaque. Next is this little Makeup Forever uh, eyeliner. It was just a little, little, it was just a little tiny guy that I got in Sephora Play. This is the Urban Decay Eyeliner in Zero. And the thing that bothers me about this, if you look, you see all the product that's left. I used two of my sharpeners and they would not sharpen this at all. But I did order another one. However, however, I did test my sharpeners on another pencil and it worked. So I don't know if it's because of age. I don't know what the deal is, if this was defective or whatever, but I am counting it as empty. But if the other sharpener works, I will go back to it. 
Next is the Ulta Lip Primer. I'm completely done with this. I don't see the point in a lip primer. I'm just glad that I got that for free. Next is the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. I love this and I'm glad that I have two other samples in my collection because this was not bad. This was not bad at all. This does exactly what it claims to do. So I enjoy it. Next, I have the two of the MAC Preppin' Primes and I don't know where the cap is for this one, but th these last two were all that I have left in my collection. It's That's it. That's it. I had, what, almost 15, 20 last year? So I'm glad that these are gone. I love these. I would not purchase them because simply if you place an order with MAC, you get free samples. So I wouldn't purchase it. It's no big deal. Next, I have the LA Girl Pro Conceal, and this one is in peach. I love this. For I think this is $4.99 or $5.99, and I would 100% purchase this again. This lasted forever, and it acted just like the Benefit Erase Paste did. So definitely, I just need to get through other concealers first. Next is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Moonlight. I love this. I'm so surprised at how long this little guy lasted. This lasted a little over three months, I would say. And I wouldn't purchase this because the full size is half an ounce. But if this was a point perk through Sephora, or if Sephora Play sends me one, I would not be mad and I would use it because I love this. This is really, really, really nice. Next is this notoriously morbid deluxe size of their liquid lipstick in Blackwing Roses. I love this. I love the notoriously morbid liquid lipsticks. So I would purchase this in the future. Next is the Stila Deluxe Size Sample of their liquid lipstick in Fresco. I did not pull out the stopper in this. You're going to find that I'm not going to be pulling out a lot of stoppers this year. But... Um, I finished as much as I could. I'm not sure if you could see that in there, but I did what I could. And of course I say that I didn't pull out the stopper when I just pulled out a stopper in my favorite, which is Bocce. Otherwise I could call that one empty too. I just had to pull out the stopper because I love that. Next, nothing exciting except the little sponge by Ulta. And the reason why I went ahead and called this empty is simply because it was just looking gross and there was a whole bunch of just gross rips and everything, so that's done. And this is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. I went ahead and I removed the top here, I popped out the bottom, I got every ounce that I possibly could from this and I love this and I would purchase this again. I'm pretty sure, if I'm, if I'm wrong please correct me, but it seems to me like Ulta always has this on sale at least once a year for half off and if that's the case, I would definitely pick this up. Maybe two, maybe one, it just depends on how many I have. Next is actually, this is the last one. This is the Triple Sec 3-in-1 Dry Bar. This is the 0.35 ounces. I love this, however, the price. The price. It's always the price, isn't it? I go through dry shampoo. It's what happens. It's I could never spend more than what I do on Patiste and other ones. Like $7.99 is my max for a full size and just... Just no, but this was nice. So if Sephora Play went ahead and sent me more, I would not be upset. So I just wanted to throw this in for Marissa's makeup because her and I, we talk through the comments a lot on her videos and my videos. So definitely go check out her channel. But she wanted me to give the reason as to why I decluttered the Too Faced Cat Eyes eyeshadow palette. I don't have it with me. Obviously it went, it just, it left. It left the house. It has left the building. Whenever I declutter something, I want it gone. So a lot of times I won't take a picture. I won't sit down and video it. Nothing. The reason why I ended up decluttering it is simply because 
I just, I, the pigmentation of it wasn't there. And when the shadows that were pigmented, they were fine. However, it ended up just being a basic palette. Whenever you look at the palette as a whole, there's nine shades on it. The middle row was sort of like the ones that kind of just draws you to it. And there was just no pigmentation there at all. And the big shades, well, they were no big deal at all. Okay, you have a matte pink shade that's going to do nothing. That kind of reminds me of uh, strawberry bonbons, which I couldn't stand. You have a big shadow that what are you going to do? Set your primer with? Set your concealer with underneath your eyes? What are you going to do? And then one that would barely be considered a highlight. In fact, I have it as a brow bone highlight today and it just it did nothing. It did nothing. And then the ones that are considered liners, they were just too thick of a consistency for it to be a nice eyeshadow and I had trouble blending it. It just was a real fail for me. So anytime that I go ahead and declutter things, I'm gonna just throw them in the empties video and just explain to you why I went ahead and decluttered. If I end up decluttering consistently, I'll go ahead and I'll just make a little series on it. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and just throw just that little tidbit in there. So that is my empties for this month. Be sure to go ahead and check the description box for all the lovely information that I talked about in the very beginning. And yeah, that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to go ahead and give this a like and subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye!